Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my video. Now I'm gonna tell you that. Now the Google Deep Figure Entertainment and check out the music, check out uh, the, uh, the album Tarata, Pretty Lady, 365 times 30. Deep Figure Entertainment. Check out the website, Deep Figure Entertainment. CEO. Now, what I'm gonna say into this video now is about your style you see from the day you was born somebody give you your, they, uh, a style for, for yourself like they give you not they give you first they was using nappy to, 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 to keep on your your body and then they give you pampers to keep on your body and when you go to school they give you the um the uniform which is military uniform because most of the um the school around the world run by a military the blue and the khaki color and, and, the, and the white and the blue those things are military so the military been giving you their own style from you are smart now check this now in the music industry and like in the hip-hop culture most uh, of the people that african-american people that live in america they they get their style from the rap artist and and, and the r&b and the singer whatever they wear is hot that's what they're doing now let's say like the black woman them they, if, if, one of the, if a female rapper comes out and he, he rapping um, and wearing like a weave or a color pink, purple, anything like that, all of the females, young females that look up to that, that, that rapper won't take that style and run with it. And I see a lot of them in the hood with all that pink, purple, blue and, and all, blonde hair, black woman with blonde hair. And I'm like, yo, that's not your style, woman. That, that don't fit everybody, man. You understand? All that hair and weave on and all that don't fit everybody. Especially black women. You know what I'm saying? So, this is why I'm trying to say you have to have your own style. Now, in the music, I noticed that what Jay Z do, 50 Cent don't do that shit. What Young GZ do, T.I. don't do it because those people understand what style is. You understand? Know if one of them wear a hat a certain way, the other one ain't gonna wear that hat a certain way. But down in the hood, where I live at, like a video like this, they hear me with it and they're gonna do one like that. And it's not even their style. And a lot of people talking through the videos and it's not even their style. You know, that shit don't fit them. You know, it's not them. You know? And when it comes to the music and writing and singing, yeah, yo, some of the things that I do, I notice they're doing and it's not them, man. It don't fit them, man. You understand that? Now, let me look at um, Jamaican market. It's so on the Jamaican market. I notice every man that trying to get recognition now for next man's style never lasts long. They used to have this guy named Merciless. Merciless did, did have like a Bounty Killer era, like he was in like Bounty Killer Shadow. You know, Bounty still shining, but he's not really shining like he's supposed to. And there was a time when Beanie Man made, got like tapped into Bounty Killer thing and Bounty go to war with him with that, you know? And you know, this Bounty Killer, he's poor gangster. That's his style, you know? No matter how much girl, girl song he'd write, it, would, it wouldn't like match up to certain things that, you know, Beanie Man would have match up to. So Beanie Man have the female level. You know, he could, he could write that, he could kick a girl song and make everybody like it. You understand? But when Killer touched the gangster side, everybody liked that. You understand? So now, the point I'm trying to make now, if you are individual now, and 